What's going on everyone? Check me out here and yes, it has been a long, long time coming for one of these Android videos that you are about to witness right now. So I do apologize on the delay, but I'm not going to do a bunch of rambling right now. Let's go ahead and hop right into it and take a look at what is on my Android. So for those of you that are curious, this is the OnePlus X that I'm showing here. Now for all of my iPhone lovers that's curious what's on my iPhone, I'm going to link a video within this video and I'm also going to list it down below in the description box that you can check out. And for those that are curious, what am I using as my daily driver? It is my iPhone 6S Plus. The OnePlus X is my secondary device, so I still use it, but just not as frequently as my iPhone. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is my lock screen here. And as you can see, I haven't changed much about it at all. It's really just the standard lock screen that came with the device. The only thing that I've installed here is Launchify, which is this section here that you're seeing. Basically what it does is it gives me quick access to either my most recently used applications or my favorite applications. So at this time, it's just showing you my most recently used applications. But this is gonna allow me to just go ahead and hop straight into these apps without having to hunt for them when I unlock my device. Now moving on to my home screen, I do have a launcher running and it's called Nova Launcher. It's the pro version. And what I've done with it is a couple of things. So I've basically narrowed this down to just two pages. So I have this page full of apps and then my second page, which shows my calendar in a very nice way that I really like and enjoy. And I'm gonna talk to you more about that, but I'm gonna just swipe back to my applications right now. So starting here at the top of my home page. This little widget there was done with Zooper widget. And I can't remember the exact name of this widget, but I will annotate it in the video and also have it listed down below in the description box for those of you that are curious. But I really like it because it's just so simple. I really like simple, minimalistic setups that just never gets old for me. And as far as my wallpaper here, I know it's not too fancy or anything like that, but it just really looks good with this particular theme. I tried different wallpapers with it and I don't know, it was just something about this one that really won me over. So what I'm running is a live wallpaper called Bubbles. Now moving here to my icons, I do have an icon pack running and that particular icon pack is known as Retrica. And I left everything pretty standard with the exception of certain icons such as my app drawer. I chose a guy with the gun. I don't know why. I just thought it looked kind of different so... I put him down there. Now to make it a little bit easier to access my app drawer, I did take on the option of having a gesture built into this where I can take my finger and slide up on the screen and it will pull up my app drawer. That way I don't even have to tap on an icon to get there. So it's just a gesture enabled thing. Now in regards to my app setup, I have folders for social and games and I just chose one icon to be the icon for the folder because I thought it just looked better. And this is something that I really love about Android, the customization options are crazy and it's really nice to be able to do these things without having to jailbreak my iPhone but that's a whole nother story but in taking a look at my social folder I can tap on that here and I just have two things in there at the time which is YouTube and Snapchat so real simple um, and then if I tap away from that I have Amazon those of you that follow my YouTube channel and things probably know how much I love Amazon so I'm not gonna go in a rant about that <laughs> so moving on to my games folder these are some games that I'm currently enjoying up here Crossy Road being my favorite out of these the other three are just really simple games the type of games that you play when you're wasting time I'm waiting somewhere and you can't really get involved too deep into a game these are great games to just kind of pass the time with and if you're interested in seeing a video on my favorite games for whatever device drop that down below because if it has a lot of interest from all of you then I'm definitely open to making a video about that but I'm gonna tap away from this and move on to the next application which is Visco that is my favorite application to edit my photos with well it's one of my favorites so I really like to use that to kind of just take my photo editing capability abilities to the next level and then I have Spotify which is my music app of choice Play Store which is of course we all know to download the apps and then aside from that everything else is pretty much stock being my phone app drawer and my messenger app I don't have anything fancy for either of those now sliding on to the next page I have an application called monthly calendar widget I really like this one because I love the view that it gives me of my calendar and on top of that I can just tap on a day to see if anything's going on for that particular day and if not I can easily add something to go on to that day by just hitting that plus button there so it's pretty neat in terms of the options you get it just basically gives me the basics and everything that I would need from my calendar widget so I'm satisfied with that now if you're curious what other apps I'm running this is a quick glimpse of those so if one interests you then you can pause the video but I don't have a ton of different apps running up here 
Um, just a few basics. So sorry to disappoint if you're looking here and you are slightly disappointed. But these are all of my apps that I have running on this particular device. But that's gonna sum everything up for this particular video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of what's on my Android, what's on my iPhone, what's on whatever, <laughs> any content from me, please go ahead and hit that like button so that I know that you enjoy what you're seeing. Also, if you wanna stay updated in terms of what's going on with me and find out the progress of my next video, then definitely follow my social links below because I generally will let people know that follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat, I will let them know first when a video is in progress, when it's uploading, so that you can have even more in-depth information in regards to when my next video is going to be hitting your sub box. But aside from that, until next time, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.